Well, that piece um, is the hymn, My Tribute. How can I say thanks for the things you have done for me, things? Um, and it is arranged by a gospel pianist by the name of Dino Kartsinoxis. And when I was a kid, very young, I found an old VHS tape of Dino playing. It was a concert of his. And I wore that tape out. I watched it weekly. My mom and dad would tell you probably twice a week I would sit in front of the TV and watch that concert. And um, he was the Liberace of the gospel world. He had spangled rhinestones and these big production numbers and um, was in Branson for many years. Some of you might have gone to Branson to see him. He used to do a Christmas show and the Radio City Rockettes would even come down at his Christmas shows. And um, he's actually still in Branson um, and he has a little coffee and cake shop down in the landing um, called Dino's Carrot Cakes. It's like car gold carrot or something. And um, anyway, so I was introduced to this piece growing up. Many of you know I grew up Protestant in a little itty bitty Baptist church in Eastland, Missouri. There were about 80 families. And there was a traveling family and they were Bud and Barbara Lee Ministries. And it was an African-American husband and his wife. And he sang and she played piano. She was a concert pianist and she traveled with this Yamaha Clavinova, which was a electric piano that had all the bells and whistles. It had strings and drums and all kinds of stuff. And she would open the concert when they would travel with this version of my tribute. And I was just enthralled. And I was like, I have got to learn how to play this one day. And so this piece really kind of inspired me to play piano today. And so um, um, I actually watched uh, Dino had a concert last night live that he did. So I even watched him perform last night to kind of get me ready for this. Um, so there's really no rhyme or reason to this concert order for what I'm going to do today. Um, a lot of times you'll go to a concert or a recital and it's chronological order or even alphabetical. <laughs> this is none of that. This is just music that uh, for whatever reason has inspired me throughout the years. Um, a lot of it's going to be like top hits of the 90s, you know, on K-Love or, you know, 88.5 Christian Radio that you would have listened to. Um, so the next three songs I'm going to do um, are by an artist who um, was really well known in the 90s um, and late 80s. His name was Ray Bolts. And some of you that go here to St. James, you know that on every Good Friday I sing Watch the Lamb, which is uh, one of his songs that he did. Well, I'm not going to do that today. But I have three others that I'm going to do, and it's called The Altar, The Anchor Holds, and Thank You. And um, we're going to start with the song, The Altar. Um, and I think it's a beautiful reminder that, um, you know, back before, you know, Jesus came, you know, the altar was a place where you brought your sacrifice uh, to atone for your sins, but it was also a place of prayer where you could take your own physical burdens and um, lay them at the altar, you know, to cleanse yourself. And this song is just a reminder of that altar and how you can come forward and it's always there um, no matter what you're going through. And so that's why this song kind of speaks to me. The service was nearing an end. The choir is singing just as I am. And now, as the old song is played, people at the altar are kneeling down to pray. And some are finding mercy 
forgiveness for their sins. And some are fighting battles and they're struggling to win. The time has come to give in to the Lord. That's what this altar is for. That's what this altar is for. You don't have to carry those burdens anymore. There's a light in the darkness. There's a love that's true. And Jesus is waiting. He is waiting here for you. Go quickly now before they close the door. That's what this altar is for. A father is praying with his son. A mother kneels beside them, thanking God they've come. An old man is standing there in tears, giving up a part of him that he's held back for years. Hearts are being broken, lives are being changed. Those who call upon him, they will never be the same. The time has come to give in to the Lord. That's what this altar is for. That's what this altar is for. You don't have to carry those burdens anymore. There's a light in the darkness. There's a love that's true. And Jesus is waiting, he is waiting here for you. Come quickly now, before they close the door. That's what this altar is for. That's what this altar is for. You don't have to carry those burdens in. There's a light in the darkness, there's a love that's true, and Jesus is waiting, he is waiting here for you. Come quickly now, before they close the door, and you can leave your burdens with the Lord. That's what this altar is for. I dreamed I went to heaven and you were there with me. We walked upon the streets of gold beside the crystal sea. We heard the angels singing and someone called your name. We turned and saw a young man and he was smiling as he came and he said friend you may not know me now and then he said but wait you used to teach my Sunday school when I was only eight and every week you'd say a prayer before the class would start one day when you said that prayer, I asked Jesus 
in my heart. Thank you for giving to the Lord. I am a life that was changed. Thank you for giving to the Lord. I am so glad you gave. Then another man stood before you. He said, remember the time a missionary came to your church. His pictures made you cry. You didn't have much money, but you gave it anyway. Jesus took that gift you gave and that's why I'm here today. Thank you for giving to the Lord. I am alive that was changed. Thank you for giving to the Lord. I am so glad you gave. One by one they came, far as the eye could see. Each life somehow touched by your generosity. Little things that you had done the sacrifices made unnoticed on the earth in heaven now proclaimed and I know up in heaven you're not supposed to cry but I'm almost sure there were tears in your eyes and Jesus took your hand and you stood before the Lord. He said, my child, look around you, for great is your reward. Thank you for giving to the Lord, for I am a life that was changed. Thank for giving to the Lord. I am so glad you gave. Thank you for giving to the Lord. I am a life that was changed. Thank you for giving to the Lord. I am so glad you gave. I am so glad you gave. One of my favorite things about these songs is they all tell a short story. They're a small story within themselves. And um, I can just close my eyes as a listener and be drawn into the story that the song tells. Um, this next one is um, a, a really great song and it's been really powerful to me throughout um, my life. And certainly I can relate to this song throughout the last year and a half that we've gone through with the pandemic, and it's called The Anchor. And it talks about, you know, um, Jesus is our anchor, and no matter what, uh, he holds us fast and firm to where we are. And no matter what life storms ahead, the anchor holds and pulls us through.
I have journeyed through the long dark night out on the open sea. By faith alone, sight unknown, and yet his eyes were watching me. The anchor holds, though the ship is battered. The anchor holds, though the sails are torn. I have fallen on my knees as I face the raging seas. The anchor holds in spite of the storm I've had visions I've had dreams I've even held them But I never knew they would slip right through like they were only grains of sand. The anchor holds, though the ship is battered. The anchor holds, though the sails are torn. I have fallen on my knees as I face the raging seas. The anchor holds in spite of the storm I have been young but I'm older now and there's been beauty these eyes have seen But it was in the night, through these storms of my life, that's where God proved his love to me. The anchor holds, though the ship's been battered. The anchor holds, though the sails are torn. I have fallen on my knees as I face the raging seas. The anchor holds in spite of the storm I have fallen on my knees as I face the raging seas the anchor holds in spite
side of the storm. Another one of my big inspirations in my musical life and my journey has been none other than Miss Sandy Patty. So if you know who Sandy Patty is, she was, um, still is uh, an incredible gospel artist. I think she has more Dove Awards than any um, artist in her lifetime. Um, fantastic soprano, just incredible. I've seen her, I think, every concert she's come through in Kansas City, and I've thoroughly enjoyed every one of them. If you've never heard her sing her rendition of How Great Thou Art, go look up on YouTube and watch Sandy Patty, How Great Thou Art, because it's just, it's incredible. It's monumental. She also, in the late 80s, there's a video you can find where they rededicated the Statue of Liberty. Um, it was televised on public broadcast, and she sang um, all three verses of the Star Spangled Banner with full orchestra, and it's absolutely breathtaking. It is an incredible performance. Um, but this is a beautiful, um, kind of one of her more low-key uh, songs called In Heaven's Eyes. And it's a beautiful reminder that um, we are worthy of God's love. And no matter how we see ourselves, that in the eyes of heaven, we are beautiful. We are a perfect creature that God created. No matter how we feel or think of ourselves or maybe others make us feel, um, we are reminded that we are exactly who we are supposed to be in God's eyes. A fervent prayer rose up to heaven a fragile soul was losing ground sorting through the earthly babble heaven heard the sound this was a life of no distinction, no successes, only tries. Yet gazing down on this unlovely one, there was love in heaven's eyes. In heaven's eyes. In heaven's eyes, no hopeless cause. There's only people like you with feelings like me. Amazed by the grace we can find in heaven's eyes. The orphan child, the wayward father, the homeless traveler in the rain. When life goes by and no one bothers, heaven feels the pain. Looking down, God sees each heartache, He knows each sorrow, hears each cry, and looking up, we'll see compassion's fire ablaze in 
heaven's eyes, in heaven's eyes, there are no losers. In heaven's eyes, no hopeless cause. Only people like you, with feelings like me, amazed by the grace we can find. In heaven's eyes, there are no losers. In heaven's eyes, there is no hopeless cause. There's only people like you with feelings like me. And we're amazed by the grace we can find in heaven's eyes. So uh, the next piece is going to be a piano piece. Um, as a pianist, um, or any of you that are in church music, at some point in your career and your ministry, I am certain that you have done a piece by Mark Hayes. Um, Mark Hayes is actually a local uh, here in Kansas City, um, has been here for years. I don't know if he still lives here now. I'm not sure. He does? Okay. Um, I've had the pleasure of working with him. I've been to some of his workshops, and he's really a dynamic speaker and inspirational pianist. And the first piano solo I ever played at church, a friend of mine, we used to practice in choir class before and after because he had the sheet music. And um, it was his arrangement of majesty. And believe it or not, I still have that book. So 20 some odd years at least, no, more than that, 25, 30-ish years later, I still have this book. And um, so this is Mark Hay's Arrangement of Majesty. Thank you. 
So, uh, like I said, there's no rhyme or reason to this concert order. So, the next song is going to be, excuse me, I need a little sip of water. Um, um, there's a hymn, and a, a lot of hymnals, um, Abide in me, fast fall. It's a beautiful hymn. This song is entitled Abide in Me, but it's not the hymn. Um, there's a famous husband and wife in the gospel music world called uh, Bill and Gloria Gaither. So if you know the Gaithers or the Gaither vocal band, Bill Gaither put that together. And um, his wife, Gloria Gaither, she has wrote hundreds of thousands of songs in the gospel music world. Uh, you look at some of these old hymns and some of the texts, uh, they're hers. And so um, this is one of those pieces that um, she and her husband wrote together um, called Abide in Me. And it's just a beautiful prayer is all it is. As, um, you know, we're just saying, God, I can't do this by myself. I need you. And so I'm inviting you to come and abide in my spirit and in my heart and guide me in all that I do. Abide in me, O oh my Lord, you promised in your holy word, you would call my name and I have heard, I ask you, Lord, abide in me, abide in me. By abiding, make my choices right. Help me see because you are my light, eternal light. Abide in me. Everything I see around me seems so empty and so lost. I need your direction, I'm ready for the cost. Abide in me, Lord, I pray, Holy Spirit, life and truth and way. Teach me how to think and what to say, come in to stay. Abide in me, my life I'll throw open wide, won't you come and make your home inside, how I need you, won't you be my guide, I love you Lord, abide in me. Abide in me. This next song is another one of those that's going to take you on a journey. It's going to tell a story, and it's about a dream. And um, the person has had a dream, and they've gone to heaven. And it talks about the different people that they see along their journey in heaven. And um, throughout, you can feel it building because all that the person dreaming wants to do is see Jesus. It's like I've seen my friends, I've seen some saints along the way, but I want to see Jesus. Show me Jesus. And so um, this song is called I Bowed on My Knees and Cried Holy. I remember when I was in high school and I heard someone sing this and I was like, oh, I want to be able to sing this someday. And so this song um, just really means a lot to me and it's very nostalgic. So I bowed on my knees and cried holy.
I dreamed of a city called glory so bright and so fair when I entered the gates I cried holy The angels are met me there. They carried me from mansion to mansion. And all oh, the sights I saw. Then I said, I want to see Jesus, the one who died for all. Then I bowed on my knees and cried, holy. I cried, holy. the Son of God, glory to the Son of God. Then as I entered the gates of that city, my loved ones all Down the streets of heaven, all oh, the scenes were too many to tell. I saw Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac. I talked with Mark and Timothy. Oh, but I said, Timothy, I want to see Jesus, because he's the one who died for me. Then I bowed on my knees and cried, holy, holy. To the Son of God, I sing glory to the Son of God. Uh, this next song is uh, based on a spiritual. We've got two more to do. And um, this one is, uh, you might recognize it. Um, it's a beautiful um, traditional African-American spiritual that's kind of been set to a ballad style. Uh, this is Give Me Jesus. In the morning when I rise, in the morning when I rise, 
In the morning when I rise, give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. You can have all this world, but give me Jesus. And when I am alone, oh, when I am alone, when I am alone, give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. You can have all this world, but give me Jesus. And when I come to die, oh, when I come to die, and when I come to die, give me Jesus, give me Jesus, give me Jesus. Well, I've got two more to do, so if you hang in there, if you got to go, I know we're a little late for time. If you got to go, I understand. We've got two more uh, for you. So this next one, um, I'm kind of on this little journey here a little bit. Um, it's a beautiful song. You might hear it. It's pretty popular on the radio right now. It's called Well Done, and um, I think it's something we all live our life for and hope that one day when we see God in heaven, that's what he says. Well done, my good and faithful ones. So here's that. What will it be like when my pain is gone and all the worries of the world just fade away? What will it be like when you call my name and that moment when I see you face to face? I'm waiting my whole life to hear you say, well done, well done, my good and faithful one. Welcome to the place where you belong. Well done, well done, my beloved child. You have run the race and now you're home. Welcome to the place where you belong. 
What will it be like when tears are washed away and every broken thing will finally be made whole? What will it be like when I come into your glory, standing in the presence of a love so beautiful? I'm waiting my whole life for that day. I will live my life to hear you say, well done, well done, my good and faithful one, welcome to the place where you belong, well done, well done, my beloved child, you have run the race and now you're home. Welcome to the place where you belong. What will it be like when I hear that sound? All of heaven's angels crying out, singing holy. Until then I live to hear you say Well done, well done My good and faithful one Welcome to the place where you belong Well done, well done My beloved child you have run the race and now you're home. Welcome to the place where you belong. Well Well, and last but not least, um, this is a fantastic anthem. We hear it on the radio, and I think you can take it in many different ways. If you have someone in your life who has been a support for you in times of struggle and times of need, um, if that person is Jesus, then this, this song applies as well. So um, I'll close today with You Raise Me Up. When I am down and oh my soul so weary When troubles come and my heart burdened be Then I am still and wait here in the silence Until you come and sit a while with me you raise me up so I can stand on mountain. 
You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. I am strong when I am on your shoulders. You raise me up to more than I can be. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. I am strong when I am on your shoulders. You raise me up to more than I can be. to more than I can be. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. And I am strong when I am on your shoulders. You raise me up to more than I can be.